If you want to trigger other elements in your system using end of rise and end of fall timing, you can add the QX expander. This 4HP module connects to the back of Quadrax using a single ribbon cable. You don't have to move any jumpers, but you do need to provide power to QX. Once connected, QX will output end of rise and end of fall gates for each channel, indicated by the LEDs. You can check the manual for a detailed description of the timing of these gates. In AD, AHR, and cycle modes, the end of rise output is triggered once the rise stage completes and stays active until the fall stage completes. End of fall is activated once the fall stage completes and stays high until the fall stage begins. So you can also think of it as the end of fall going low during the fall stage. In burst mode, end of rise is triggered at the start of each pulse within a burst. End of fall is triggered at the end of the burst once all pulses have occurred. In LFO mode, end of rise outputs once the LFO is halfway through its cycle and resets once it completes a cycle. End of fall is activated when the LFO completes a cycle and resets halfway through the LFO's cycle. These gate outputs are useful if you want to trigger other events after your envelopes or if you want to synchronize things to Quadrax's LFOs. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel as we'll be showing how to put Quadrax and QX to use in more creative scenarios in future videos. Thanks for watching.